There's a story that Brent Scowcroft told me, Scowcroft having been the national security advisor for <coughs> Bush's father, that right before the war in Iraq, uh, Rice came to him you know, and, and said, this is going to be a, a tremendous moment for American diplomacy uh, because we're going to bring democracy to this place. And he said, Condi, that's a great vision, but it's a multi-generational task. And she said, no, it's not. No, it's not. She said, we, we succeeded in Eastern Europe. Look at these thriving democracies now. The same thing can happen in the Middle East. And he said, Condi, that's totally ahistorical. Or he meant, I suppose, acultural or anthropological or something, or apolitical. Meaning, how can you think that the process that happened in Eastern Europe, a place that had a deep tradition of liberal government as well as some tradition of democratic government, uh, and the middle class, and all of these things that are correlated with democracy, even if they aren't the direct causes of democracy, how can you think that it will be as easy as that? And he was shocked. He, was absolutely, he thought, this is not the Condoleezza Rice I knew. Uh, in fact, they didn't see each other again for, for uh, a year or so after that. Uh, so so uh, there was some complete uh, unwillingness to grasp the nettle of the difficult. And I, I'm sure you could say, well, this is the hallmark of the Bush administration in all things. It's just like sending too few troops to Iraq and so forth. But it's especially true with this idea of democracy promotion, which is mostly, by its nature, a long, slow, patience-requiring, modesty-requiring, chastening effort to try to, to do, to try to help from the outside a process that ultimately has to occur from the inside. 